Hey guys and welcome back to the Coder's Legacy channel. In today's video I'm going to show you something very interesting that I can almost guarantee you've never seen used before in TakeHinter. This is the concept of dynamically managing multiple screens within a single window. Now let me show you something, okay? I'm going to show you this code, this uh, other piece of code that I wrote out here. There's something I want to show you. Okay, look, this is a welcome window that presents us with two buttons, login and register. Okay, we click on login. This should take us to the login page. But here's the issue. When I click on login, it generates a new window, which is clearly for logging in. That's good. But this is a bit of an issue. Like if I was creating a proper GUI application for an end user, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, you know, use a pop-up. I mean, okay, I could, but it seems a better idea to me to simply replace this login, sorry, this welcome window with this login screen. Why are there two of them? Why are we not simply reusing the old frame? Like we should basically remove these buttons, okay? And then, you know, this window should basically appear over here. That's basically what I would do. And that's what you see online in websites as well. When you click on login, it doesn't, you know, open up a new Chrome window. Now, okay, fine. Sometimes it does open up a new Chrome tab, but usually the page just reloads, right? And a new, a new window, a new login window appears, a new login button. That's what happens most of the time. So that's what we're going to do in today's video. Okay, we're basically gonna use a single window and we're gonna swap the frames, swap the screens around, okay? Now you can see here that we're using a top level window for the login window. That's why it shows up as a new window, okay? But let me just close that now. We're gonna be using frames over here, okay? We have three, three windows, a welcome window, okay? With login and register buttons. We have a login window with username, password, uh, and submit and back buttons, okay? This is a frame. And here's our register window, okay? And it has a bunch of different fields, okay? And here's our take into application. And here's our welcome window being created, okay? So basically what's happening here is that we're passing in root. And you know, you know how we create frames, right? We create a frame like this, tk.frame and we do root, this is actually the same thing. Doing welcome window, root is actually the same thing because we've inherited from frame. So just in case you guys haven't seen this, you know, inheritance technique before, I'm just, I'm just trying to clarify. These are basically the same thing, okay? Anyway, so how are we gonna make this magic happen? What I'm gonna do first is just start defining some functions, okay? for login and register. We'll start from the welcome window and then make our way to the rest of the windows from there. Okay, so for login, let me just leave that empty. We'll define this first. All right, now this is actually gonna be really easy. Just like how we created the welcome window, okay, which is the same thing as creating a frame, we're gonna do login window and then pass in root or actually what we should do is just pass in self.master because root over here watch root was passed into here that went over here all right and then i saved it in here i saved root and self.master and now we can access it from here we could just access root directly but i like to you know keep our classes mutually exclusive so that we can split this up into different files later on, one per class. Okay, I like doing that. It's just good practice. Okay, so I'm just gonna do the same thing over here, register. But uh, this is gonna cause some problems. And let me show you. Okay, I'm just gonna adjust this, the size over there. I think I made a mistake last time when I was testing this code out. All right. Oh, that's stupid of me. There we go. Okay, so when I click on login, what happens here? That was strange. What happened? Basically, the username label and entry widget can be seen over here. 
and actually if this window was uh, I actually disabled resizing on this I think yeah I did disabled resizing but if I could resize it I would have and then shown you the password the password uh, label and in entry widget would be right below it they're basically off the screen right now what is the problem here the problem is that we've created the new frame which has now been added to our window but the old widgets are still there okay the login button and the and the register button are still there we need to destroy them okay so we're going to do self dot destroy but believe it or not i mean okay this is actually going to work okay this works see we have our new login window there and we did this without uh creating a new window we're still reusing the same window we're just renaming it each time we're resizing it okay i'm resizing it in the center window function okay you don't have to do that though you can keep the sizes the same if you want to that's totally up to you i'm just doing it this way but the problem is that these widgets these two widgets are still created they're still active now this is just good practice but what you should do is iterate over you know the winfo children function this basically returns a list of all widgets all children widgets inside a frame or the root application then we call destroy on each one of them this is good practice so that you don't run into issues later on all right now let's go ahead and duplicate these more or less we're just we're just going to modify them slightly all right on back then i'll put a welcome window over here and on the back button i'm going to do command we don't need this one by the way we just need one i'm not going to do anything to to the to the submit button let's just leave that then we'll do self dot on back and when i do this we can now go to login then we can press back and we're back here so we just created a fluid system okay back login back login now let's do the same thing for the register window and the size for it is a bit off so i'm just going to resize that a bit to 300 that looks good i'm just going to reduce the height a bit all right good now i'm gonna copy paste this over here and coincidentally it's the exact same we don't need to make any changes and uh command self dot on back now what i can do is register oh telling me over here Okay, now register, I, I can go back. So now we have a pretty fluid system set up here. And you know what? Uh, let me just copy paste this from my other code from which I actually took inspiration for this idea. I'm gonna take this extra window. Okay, we'll add in a fourth window into our program and just define. You guys can use this function, by the way, if you want to. It's pretty handy. Uh, you know, it basically resizes the window over here and also centers it on the screen. So it does both. Resizes it to the width and height that you give it and also centers it according to that width and height. Now, I have the main window over here. I'm going to call it. Where am I going to call it? In the login. Okay, in the login window. So. Uh, self dot on successful login and i'm just going to make a function for that okay now we're just going to duplicate this and there's a lot of duplication going on here so we should definitely create a function for destroying all of this uh, just keep that in mind okay and there we go Oh, same mistake again. All right, we should be done. I'm going to click on login. Then I'm going to type in a username and password. Then click submit. And this takes us to our main window. Now, obviously, you're going to add in some kind of check over here. Is the login even valid? 
but that's a separate discussion. Okay, so I hope you guys learned something useful in today's tutorial, how to create a proper GUI application, because this is the kind of format, the kind of structure you need to follow if you're creating a proper GUI application. If you enjoyed this video, you felt like you learned something new, do leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. Hope to see you guys in the next video.